I ain't got no armor neither. <laughs> but it'll be interesting to see what this. So I got to bring a thalo just to drop it off in here too. Yeah, you'll be able to fit. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It was always that door. They put a hole through the ceiling, though, so that's kind of cool. Somebody brought a Megatherium through here again? I mean, I get that you'll, you're way more stronger that way, but how do you even... I think they do it when they're, like, too low. Yeah, because you... Oh, here's a drop. It's only blue. I'll jump back up and get it once we get through here. But what is the even, you know... How do you get past the jumps? There's some, there's some serious jumps at the end. Well, I might be able to repair some of my... Well, I just... Some fiber. Some fiber here real quick. That's enough. Two more fiber and then hide. There we go. That's more like it. No, I didn't. Oh, did you thought you died? So I just can't repair my pants or my headgear at the moment. Looks like I didn't mean to hit that. Trash. So how do I get rid of this? Oh, it's trash up there that I dropped. Damn, it's lagging it's super bad. Up there. Remember, you can go either way, at least to the same spot. Try not to get close to you so you don't flame me. Definitely go crazy without the furrows in there. Ah, I broke my, my gloves. Are oh, you upgrading melee on this thing? now. Still can't tame it. I guess you can't tame any of them in here. I thought you used to be able to tame on one of these caves, but I guess not. Coming across some rubber golems here. Rubble golems soon, too. Yeah, that's since the death down there. Yeah, 
Yep, this is the jumps. There's, I think, two or three of them, if I recall correctly. Yeah. This is scary, man. But I got so much stuff on me, too. But this is the moment of truth. Oh, the jumps look so much different, too, now. It's not quite as <laughs> queen cut as before. If it ain't dangerous, though, it ain't me. All right, I made it. <laughs> it's more scary on a thigh like. You know, that went pretty smooth, but I wonder how many people accidentally lagged down in there, you know? Artifact's not in here. Is it in the next one? Why do I remember being there? Was somebody just in here? Did we miss somebody? We must have. Because you don't go back the way you came, you know? It's only a 15, so this will die quick. They, they hit really hard in this one. Like the pushback is crazy. Oh look, I see a Megalania. Do you see a Megalania? Yeah. You see him on the church thing? Oh yeah, right there, moving around too. I don't remember the other ones hitting this hard. I wonder if they just do it in this cave because of the, that death crap over there. Remember, you're not impotent either. There we go. Jesus. It's yellow. Yeah, what level is this one? It's only a 20. It's got an underside event caller. The other oh, two. Oh, red drop. All up there a little bit further. Yeah. And then that's where we drop down. You just keep going up to the and then to the left. Moralitop saddle. Oh damn. We we're on a come up. Then you just drop down there, but that's after we get the artifact. Pair of these neither without silk and a smithy. Did it get up? How did you get up? Uh, he scaled the he scaled the hill. Yeah. We must have missed somebody. They must have dropped down as we were coming. Oh, there it goes. It spawned back. They must have. Uh, crazy about this. What's that? I haven't lost a single HP because of its regen thing. On the pirate. That's crazy. Okay, well that was that. Oh yeah, what's the skin this time? I can't remember now. Oh, it goes to my cosmetics, that's why. Oh, I got a bunch of them. I've been forgetting to clear them out. Oh, and I must Are have died? One? I died at some point? I don't have my chibi equipped? You get the sword skin this time for doing this one. Yeah, we'll wait for another one. There, it's back. seeing any uh, notes in here. 
No survivor notes. I know there's not a dino note in here, but I didn't... I didn't see a survivor note anywhere through here either. It's enemy dense. Created a ticket saying people have stuff in the caves to wipe it. Were they really? Yeah. Damn. It's kind of stupid though, like, you didn't want to re implement cryopods. So, what are people supposed to do? Keep carrying their dinos back and forth? I think, you know, like, again, on the island, they had made all the caves a lot more compact. There you go. They made the caves a lot more compact so you couldn't, um, you know, you you there wasn't as much room to leave a bunch of dinos around, but what are you supposed to do? Uh, you know, we well, don't have no cryopods. I'm not gonna lug a dino back and forth all day long, you know, to run caves. So, there's no way that guy did it with that bro. Did it with one, the frog. <laughs> you know, he just ran by. He ran by everything. You know, he didn't fight nothing. One hundred five rock on. Really? Okay, we're on it. So, so will you grab? Try to get the Lamantria. I'm coming back right now. I think I put one in your. And if not, I have. I have an extra one. Where where is it? Is it right up on our mountain? Oh, let me let me let me I do the thing you quickly. It's only six hundred meters away. I'm heading back to the base. Or I could do the Lamantria if you you know trick if you wanna grab the the cannonballs and the and the cannon. Okay. I'm gonna grab some sleeping bags, so if I die, it ain't no thing. Actually, we're only gonna be only 600 meters away. Well, if I, we die, it's not even really that serious. We just gotta keep the area clear. I'm clearly dying right now with my car before I leave. Alright, area's clear. Okay. I actually bring this stuff over to you in one second. And we're gonna see if this trick goes. This trick works in the previous games. We're gonna see if it works this time. Grab an Argent. So I can fly everything over, no problem. I 
Bro, that's not what I meant to put it in. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Yep. Is there one? Is there one? Okay. All right, I gotta grab this Argent. This is the moment we've been waiting for. Okay, so I gotta grab these cannonballs. So it's a 105. Rock element. So how many cannonballs does it need? I don't know if I have enough. It says I need nine cannonballs and I got a 105. Let's see, do I have nine? I'm, I'm gonna make them now. Let's see, one, two, three, there's four. Five, six, seven. So I have six, I have eight. Cannon. I'm gonna make a couple more cannonballs here. Just need obsidian. Oh, I need obsidian? No way. Well, that's an L. Did you waste all the obsidian? I just used it all. Because what do we usually need raw obsidian for like that? So let's see, what am I doing? Weapons. How much do I need? I only need one more cannonball. Four obsidian and then the metal. Yeah, we need to get obsidian real quick. Let me see. Did I get any obsidian from... No, I probably wouldn't have gotten nothing from breaking anything down. In here. I broke some stuff down here. I, oh, I do. I got a ton of obsidian here. I got a ton sitting in here. And the because I grinded everything this morning that I had in there. So I just got a stack of 100 here. So now all I need is the. So we're in business. I make an extra six. I'm actually gonna make more. I want to be extra cautious here. More metal. Okay. Okay, I think I'm ready. We got plenty of cannonballs. All right, so I'm just gonna follow your lead. Now what you gotta do is you gotta hover just above its head where it can't hit you. And it's like staring up at you. And then if I stay far enough distance back and I put down the foundation with the cannon, when I hit him in the head, he'll still stay fixated on you and he won't come after me. So then I can just keep rinsing and repeating. But it's finding that sweet spot on the height. You have to be like just above his head to where he's out of range, where he can't hit you, but you can't be too far away to where he loses aggro. That's like the challenging part of it. Oh, that's him right there. At least it's wide open here, too. 
Well, I want to take a look at that orange moth too. Now see if you can get like right above his head. So he's looking up at you and then let me know. He should just stare at you. He won't even attack you or anything. Like that. Yeah, you almost had him there for a second. You're a little too high. Gotta get a little bit closer to him. I think he's aggro to me now. Yep. There you go. He's looking up at you. Stay right up. Alright, stay right there if you can. But you gotta hold still. That's why you have to be like right outside of his... At yep, there you go. Now just stay like that. If you can. I gotta try to get... That's perfect. See how he's just stuck there aggro to you? Make sure I put my shit on passive. All I gotta do is put this here, put the cannon on top. This is courtesy of Nooblitz. He's fucking smart when it comes to making this shit. All right. Okay, sold up the first cannon. First cannonball. Boom. Number one. If it goes as well, if something could come up and attack me. I'm not in the clear yet. down. Bam. I didn't say it. <laughs> Alright, I got the kibble here. Now we just gotta keep him safe. The snow ones were easy because you could just trap him. Boom. There he is. That house is still bad. Is it really still bad? Even at 32? Oh, so it's 32, but then once it tames out, it's it goes down. The wild, the wild. I thought you, I thought it was gonna build off of what it already had. Yeah, this is a bad one. But hey, but ultimately it's a it's a rock elemental, you know. Ooh, is that wild? That can't be wild. It is. Oh no, that's got to be tamed. That's wow, look at that thing, man. Purple with the yellow belly. Got to, right? Yeah, we gotta tame this thing, right? Look how sick that thing is. I don't know how to tame it though, because I don't have a mount to shoot off of. Yeah, see if you can distract it that way over to you, and then I'll get off and I'll shoot it from behind. Shouldn't be able to get up there to get you. If I can get a safe distance away. Like three more, four more train cards and stuff. More. Down. Oh. I could we could actually feed a cook prime. No, oh, I have I have the gibble. I have the gibble here. I forgot. The prime takes way too fucking long. With these guys, you know. Alright, let me... Can I go in picture and view for a minute? No. That's alright. Should open right back up to where I was at. Let's see how many it's going to take. Because we can just leave him right dying things and kill him. So only two kibble if it's a 105. It only takes six minutes on three times. Well. I might put three in there. That should definitely cover it. Alright, we can leave him. I doubt anything's gonna kill him right there. Is that a sheep? Those are sheep down there fighting. What type of fucking sheep are these? Fighting raptors, bro? 
Got him. Trying to kill, not kill them, but kill the raptor. There we go. What level are those? Those are some tough ass sheep. 145s, bro. There's a 145. I need. How close are we to the base? I need veggie cakes. Oh, he has a baby 145 too. Do you want to um stay here and go get the sweet veggie cakes, or do you want me to go get the sweet? Do you want to stay here and I go get the cakes, or do you want to get the cakes and I stay here and protect them? Okay. Definitely want to tame that sheep. Oh, here's the moss chops. What level is this moss chops? Only a ten. Here. There you are. Okay. Damn, the veggie cakes is heavy. I. Oh, there was a nice draboa there too that I killed. Yep. Oh my god. What? Look at the color it had on it. On the draboa, I know. I know. I just was noticed it when I was looking at it. All right, so we got the, got this Ovis. That Ovis, oh, I don't care about. Here's the baby. It's only a level 10. Oh, is this a high level baby? Oh, no. Yeah, 145 right here. Right here. This is the one we want. And it's a male. Is the adult one we got a male too? Hopefully it's a female. We might have to get some incest going here. Yeah, it's a female and a male. So we just got a pair. Just like that. We got a nice pair of breeding ovises. Oh, that's yours. What am I doing, bro? I just went for the closest wyvern. You're my wife, my there. wyvern abandoned me, bro. Look at him. What are you doing? You're fired, bro. You got scared of the sheep. Yeah. Bro, get your bitch ass over here. Better not land in that dude's base. It's like, if you want to go be his fucking wyvern, go ahead, man. I'll replace your ass. That's a sick thalo. I like that one a lot. There's a Faso down there. Let's try to get it. After days of travel, we finally arrived at the Burning Phoenix Clan's compound. And while my former peers were shuffled to the slave pens, I stood before the clan's leader. I'd heard tales of the once great Tatar empires, though I had okay, this one's kind of cool. Lands. By all appearances, Timur is cut from the same cloth. No, as I'm gonna try to tame this one. He's cool. He seems was at once he's got a, every every region's a, an event color and with had that plain gray color. Bone. Naturally, uh. he was impressed by my intellect and gentlemanly demeanor. Granted, he did not say so aloud, <laughs> but I was escorted to a small private chamber. Yeah, if he's going to be stupid, I ain't going to tell Surely, that says as much. Not as cool as the other green one I've seen, but let's see. I mean, it'll be super easy to tame. It'll be one, two. <laughs> Trying to hit the vulture. The vulture might actually kill him. <laughs> He's only got 583 health left.
Then will you grab my wyvern and have it follow me? Hopefully, I can. Hopefully, there's something over here to hit before I get booted off. Yep. Almost there, almost there, almost there. Have to hit some rocks along the way. Just chilling out here in the middle of nowhere too. You're probably gonna run into a rock in I know how about it. Sad too is this is only a twenty. Oh, there's another. There's an all, all like a red and green. I need that red color region too. That's the, I think the close to the color of the old one. That's a cool looking thalo too. Have to make a note that he's back along this ridge here. Okay. Trying to get over to. I'm, I've been marking the Faso salts as I go, but I'm getting closer to him now. I've only got like two or three of them marked so far. Almost there, almost there. I'm going for it. This might end up in my death, but we're going to find out. There it is. Hopefully I can get there in time. This is so risky right here.
Oh, I tried. There you go. Okay, so I gotta stay away from the ones that are too far away. So I'm keep that in mind. I'll bring them back over to the thing. Oh, he came after me like that, or was that a new one? That a different one. Okay. Look at all these over here, though. Yeah, that's what. I, all right, so yeah, that's what. I, that's what I was going for. That's exactly what I was trying to find. Was that? That should be enough to finish taming him, I believe. I was trying to find that, but it's too too far spaced out. So you almost want to start there and then move inland, I guess, or. Or this is what you're supposed to do. Not get it done in one shot. But he's halfway done. Of course, that's only level 20. Come on, Basil. You know you're bored, man. I'm actually going to get ahead of you and kill that. I see what you're doing. I hope I didn't ruin his taming effectiveness. Kill that beetle. I don't know, it's so stupid. Like, for what? You know, like... Like, like for what reason? Like, there's nothing around. Like, it should just... After a few seconds, it should just go down into the... Into the sand. Like, it shouldn't be like... Like, what? I don't understand what the point of what it's doing now is. Like, how is this good for the mechanic of taming these things for it to just keep staying above ground until it finds something to attack what level is that fast so in the distance that's a 25 that's trash I mean look at him he won't go under like is it bugged is this a thing where they do that when they're bugged or I wonder if there's so many foundations distance they gotta walk before they yes yeah, this is stupid so he's literally going to keep going until he finds that bug to attack or something. It's stupid too, because these were like... I probably were the most anticipated thing that people wanted to tame. There we go. In the game. And now, you know... Now I gotta try to make it all the way to that other thing. I might not make it. I might be too far away. Alright, now let's see if we can get over to these salts. I think it's where those oasis trees are, right? It looked like. Yeah. I'm heading there now. He's already half gone. I don't 
think I'm going to make it in time. I might just make it in time. Let's see. Oh, he lost some of his torpor, too. That's bizarre. There, I got it. I got there in time. Oh, yeah, he's tamed up right here. I think this is going to be it. Oh, my God, he's done. I only got to hit a couple more. Yeah, that's that's so fast. There he is. Now, what is the kibble for this stupid thing? Four exceptional kibble. Which he ain't even take that many because he's lower level. And there are still all these salts here. Yeah, that that shot up. That now we made it so easy. That other one wasn't that good, but this thing, this like the bigger rock salts that were right here, that made it so easy to tame that thing. All right, and there he is, guys. We ended up getting him tamed up. We brought him back to the base, and uh, yeah, that's actually not a bad one, man. He's got you know a. An event color in every region, I think, other than the second region, which is 96. I think that's a base color, but at least the rest of the colors are, you know, are event colors. I think that's the one thing with these that I've noticed. It's really hard to find really good-looking ones, but this one's not too bad, you know. It doesn't feel as drab as some of the other ones, even with the event colors. But, but yeah, so that was pretty much it, man. That was the highlights from our video, uh, actually from our day yesterday, I should say. Um... And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, but we'll go ahead and we'll end it here. And uh, thanks guys for watching. We'll see you in the next one.